Mrs. Ella Eronen uh, was a Finnish actress and one of the most famous Finnish actresses of the 20th century. She was born in January 1900 in Helsinki, the Finnish capital, where she also died in October 1987. She was born to a bilingual family whose members both spoke both Finnish and Swedish. Um, her theater debut took place in the Swedish theater or Svenska Teatern in Helsinki in Kronbruden, The Crowned Bride, a play written by the famous late 19th and early 20th century Swedish playwright August Strindberg. She was six years old at the time. At her mother's suggestion, Ella sought admission to the Swedish theater training school in 1915. Her mother died in 1916 and she had to change her plans, staying at home to look after her, her younger sisters and keeping house for her family. She secretly joined the dancing group in the Swedish theater. As soon as, as soon as her father found out about it, she left home, getting married for the first time to Mr. Par Eugen Andersson, whom she had met at the theater. She claimed in her memoirs that her first husband was a sadistic man and an alcoholic who drank himself to death during their five years of marriage. Widowed at 24 years, um, Ella Eronen went on with her theater studies. She married again in 1928. Her second husband was the sculptor Karl Wilhelm, and they had a daughter, Leila, in the same year. She was encouraged by her husband to seek admission to the Finnish Stage Institute, but the school seemed frustrating after her long self-education. At first she performed as a dancer, but the roles offered did not satisfy the aspiring actress. She thus uh, hired the National Theatre of Finland located in Helsinki for her own dance and recital evening in 1933. The criticism was positive, but it, it did not bring her any work. She left for Sweden to study. And she was able to play uh, in the Swedish theater of Turku, 22 different roles in two years. Uh, after her maternity leave, uh, and in the process she married her third husband, uh, the graphic artist Mr. Eino Tarkkonen in 1937. She guested at the Helsinki Folk Theater as Lady Macbeth, directed by her former teacher Ms. Berta. Lindberg. During the winter war between Finland and the Soviet Union, Ella left for Sweden with her children, performing on many occasions arranged for the benefit of Finland. At the Stockholm Stadium, she recited the poem Vortland, or in Finnish Maame, the Finnish national anthem, in a manner that made a deep impression both on the Swedes and the Finns distressed by the war who heard her on the radio. She returned to the Finnish National Theatre staff in 1942, and that could be considered as the start of the most significant stage in her career. Uh, after her successes, she left for the United States to find a cure for her, her rheumatoid arthritis, and obviously also to be present at her daughter's wedding. The National Theatre broke her artistic contract in 1951. But the end of 1951 brought relief when the director of the Folk Theatre, Mr. Werneri Veistaja, offered Ella the direction of Murheesta Nose Elektra or From Morning or Morning Grief come, Becomes or Rises Elektra by Eugene O'Neill. Then she negotiated a new contract with the Finnish National Theatre in 19. 54, being able to dictate her terms and conditions. She had to retire eventually, though reluctantly, but she went on as a visiting actress. Her last role was uh, Sarah Bernhardt or Bernhardt, um, a Swiss actress in Morel's play Sulen or Okjag or The Sun and I, performed at the Swedish Theatre of Helsinki from 1984 to 1985. 
She shaped her one-woman shows in a boldly dramatic way, with dance and music in a significant role. She was regarded as a nationally significant actress. In people's minds, she was a great Finnish actress, even to those who had never seen her perform on stage. She became known throughout the entire Finland, even though she only appeared in a few films. She had a passionate relation to her work. Her striving for a perfect dramatic illusion reached further than that of her colleagues. She went as far as shaping the looks of her characters.